I want to talk a little bit about the experience of one of the events I'm doing uh, at the, the Book Festival, which is interviewing Edouard Louis and Violetta Gregg. I first met Edouard Louis, who's a French writer, uh, over lunch in London uh, earlier this year. And he wanted to tell me about his novel, which is called The End of Eddie. And it's what in France is quite a popular genre uh, in fiction. It's called autofiction, which, in which the, a writer writes about their own experiences and turns it into novel form, but they're very much based on Edouard Louis's own experiences. And The End of Eddie is a kind of coming of age novel in which he grows up uh, and, and realizes uh, that he's gay, but it's set in a town in northern Picardy, in northern France, where in Edouard's view, uh, many of the people are kind of constrained by their own class roots. And so it, it's, a, it's a journey out of his own working class experience into becoming a kind of middle class gay man and to meet this young French sensation and over lunch was an ex extraordinary experience uh, and also to hear about him the, the problems he'd faced from people who felt that he'd betrayed his own class and that seemed to me to be similar to another coming of age story written by a Polish woman called Violetta Gregg who I only got to meet later as Man Booker International Prize judge when we longlisted her book Swallowing Mercury for the Man Booker International Prize. Uh, Violetta's story is also a coming-of-age novel which takes the form of a whole series of short stories, I suppose, but all about her own experiences of growing up in 1970s Poland when it was still a, a communist country. And these little short stories fit together rather like little jewels that fit together on a, a kind of necklace to create a, a wonderful picture of, um, of communist Poland in the town of Hektari, which is outside uh, Warsaw, a rural life in Poland. And, and both of these novels, I think, I felt were about personal experience, but, but took personal experience away as well and, and created genuine novel forms in which the imagination could take hold as well. And I, th I thought they were great examples of how people can write about their own experiences and yet also create things which are, which are pure fiction. So for that reason, Roland and I decided to put them together uh, into an event and I can't wait to find out uh, what the result will be.